Why does no one use Salamence anymore? Fun fact, it's my favourite dragon type, so I am a bit biased here. With a massive attack style and access to Dragon Dance, this thing can get out of control real quick. You don't even need Dragon Stab to use this. Dual Wing Beat, Iron Head and EQ do the job just right. The first battle with Salamence is against Blitzer from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord and this one's a good one. Before we get into it though, if you could Dual Wing Beat that subscribe button real quick, I'd appreciate it. On our way to 15k subscribers, so I'd love for you to be a part of that. So without further ado, I present to you all the Salamence video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Blitzer. So they're going to lead off with Meow Scarada as I led off with my big Scizor over here. I, the Scizor looked really good against that team. I mean, they've got an Umbreon. They've got this thing. Nine Tails. Uh, Iron Tritz can't really do, do much to us. We can also close combat it. And Gudra, we outspeed and just U-turn on. So um, I guess I am just going to go for a U-turn here. I don't see any reason not to. They go for an Acrobatics, making them a flying type. Which is going to do a lot of damage. So I'm guessing they don't have an item on that thing. Because that did a lot of damage. As uh, our U-turn is now not going to do as much damage as um, it should have done. So that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So Sizzler is out of there. Um, if we assume this thing's not Choice Scarf. It's probably got no item on it. Um, we can just go into Rotom here. Uh, this does bait in the Iron Treads. Which can get the Stealth Rocks up. So that's um, something to watch out for. Uh, we could also go Nine Tails and get our Aurora Veil up. That's always a possibility. To be fair. Uh, I think I think Nine Tails is a good switch here, so we'll go Nine Tails now. And with the snow up and our defense boost from the snow, we should be able to take an Acrobatics no problem. Um, so we get the snow up like so. Let's see how this plays out. So let's go for an Aurora Veil. I don't see any reason not to, unless they've got Brick Break on this thing. They go for a knockoff to get rid of our Light Clay. That's a good play, really good play. Ballsy, because if I went for a Freeze Dry, you'd be dead. Um, but obviously we didn't. So we went for an Aurora Veil. Now it's not going to last nearly as long because they did knock off our Likely. So that was a really good knockoff play right there. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Freeze Dry. They go for a U-turn. That's fine. It's not going to do much damage to us thanks to the Aurora Veil and the Snow. And the fact that it's not Stab. And um, they probably go into the Iron Treads if I had to guess. Or if they're really ballsy, the Gudra. Nine Tails comes in. That's a good switch. That can also take a hit pretty well. It's nice and shiny as well. We go for a freeze dry. That's going to do no damage because it is resistant after all. But they do get their own Aurora Veil up here, which is something to be wary of. So I'm going to go into my Sizzle now. Uh, Sizzle does have defog, so we can just defog away their Aurora Veil. It won't get rid of our Aurora Veil. But our Aurora Veil is not going to last very long anyway. So uh, we'll go Sizzle now. And they go for an Aurora Veil, like I said. And um, they don't have a Gold Dango, so we can just go for a defog here. No problemo. Just looking if they've got any Defiant Mons. They don't do they now. So let's go for a Defog here and get rid of their Aurora Veil. They withdraw the Ninetales. That's fine. Ninetales is fine. Let's see what they go into though. They go into the Iron Treads. Which is great. And um, we go for a Defog here. They are Booster Energy which is good to know. Is it going to boost their Attack or Speed though? Attack. Yeah, that's good then. That's good. So we, do, we still outspeed it with some Pokemon. So uh, let's go for a Defog like so going to lower their evasiveness not that it matters and gets rid of the aurora veil on their side of the field now and um, if they've seen the defog they might not want to go for a stealth rock so let's go for a u-turn here they go for a knockoff which is going to get rid of our item our uh, good old-fashioned heavy duty boots are now gone and uh, we can go for a u-turn there we get a little bit of chip not a boosted by aurora veil or anything like that or defended by aurora veil um, so now we can go into our designated iron treads killer the roton wash and go for a hydro pump or we can go into uh, Salamence and start setting up. That's always an option as well. To be fair, I'm looking at their team and it does do pretty well against their team. It does really well against their team. If we can get up some Dragon Dancers. We could also go Superior. Um, let's go Salamence. I don't think they'll have Ice Spinner if they've got Knock Off. They normally have Earthquake, Knock Off, and then they'll have Rapid Spin and Stealth Rock or something. But it is Booster Energy Attack, so it's a bit hard to say. So um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I, I want a Terra, but I don't at the same time. I don't think they'll have Ice Spinner, and even then it won't KO us. So let's go for a Dragon Dance here. A uh, Dragon Dance comes through. We actually outspeed them, so they're um, probably a more bulkier Iron Treads. Are they going to go for a Knockoff here? Yeah, they go for a Knockoff. That's fine. So Knockoff's fine. We're going to knock off our Lumberry. Not that it matters that much. Uh, now I'm going to go for a Terra Steel Dragon Dance, because I feel like they might whip out an Ice Spinner. But also because I want to make sure they know that whatever they bring in, I can take down. And after two Dragon Dancers, this Salamence is going to go really hard against that team. They withdraw the Iron Treads. What are they going to go into, though? That's the real question. If they go into the Meow Scarada, no, they, they would go to Meow Scarada. They're probably Sucker Punch if they go Meow Scarada. 
Um, we know they're not choice scarf because A, they're acrobatics, and B, they switch the moves. We Terra Steel here. There's not a lot they can really do to us. So other than Sucker Punch, but I don't, I'm not afraid of Sucker Punch. I'm really not afraid of Sucker Punch. So we Terra. Dragon Ants comes through. We're at plus two. We don't have Moxie, unfortunately. We have Intimidate. Moxie would have been really good right now. Don't know why I didn't put Moxie on there, but I, I don't want to risk missing the dual wind beat, so we may as well go for an Iron Head here. Um, Iron Head comes through. I think they were just sacking off the Miascarada at this point, so Iron Head comes through, and that is a dead Miascarada right there. So Miascarada down. We are looking pretty good with Salamence right now. Iron Treads comes back in, so this thing, the fact that they brought it back in tells me, A, they're, they're pretty confident they can take an Earthquake somehow, which tells me they may be Terra Water. But if the Terra Water... Isn't Earthquake still our best option? I'm going to go for another Earthquake. I don't see any reason not to. So, yeah, they get they don't Terra. They don't Terra. They're just going to take the Earthquake and take it. They do not because we're at plus two and we're a Salamence. So, we're looking pretty good with Salamence right now. Gudra comes in. So, I think they might have figured out that we don't have Dragon Stab somehow. I don't know how. I, I blame. I don't know who I blame. But um, we can go for a Stab Iron Head here. This will probably do the trick. Um, it probably won't take it out, but it'll do a lot of damage. Um, which is all we really need Salamence to do, really. So, so let's go for an Iron Head on the Gudra. They do Terra. Oh, whoa. If they Terra Fairy here, predicting Dragon Stab, we are actually in a really, really, really good position. The Terra Water, though, that's unfortunate. So Terra Water, they're going to take the Iron Head like a champ. Um, they're going to get that like, Gooey as well, which is unfortunate. Uh, Salamence done really well this game, though. So this is definitely going in the Salamence video. So Iron Head comes through. It's nearly a two shot, which is great. They are Gooey. And then they flinch. <gasps> oh, no way. No way. No way. No way. Okay, so this, this just opens up an opportunity. So this might be the main Salamence video. Yes. Okay, Gudra goes down. That's amazing. I forgot you could even flinch with Iron Head. Such a random secondary effect. Well, Gudra goes down. The terror is used up. Salamence. Salamence is looking pretty good right now. Blaze the Gourmet comes in. If I remember rightly, Blaze is the Dragonite. Yeah, the Dragonite comes in. Dragonite comes in. So, is eh. I could go for Iron Head, but if they're in a focus, they won't flinch. Whereas, Jewel Wing Beat will break the multi scale. I think Jewel Wing Beat's a better option here. It's the same base power, but the second hit will do more damage because it'll have broke the multi scale already. So, I think Jewel Wing Beat is our best option here. So, let's go for it. There's one that's done a nice bit of damage. That's the second one. So, that's all right. That's not too bad. As uh, they go for a Fire Punch, which isn't going to take us out. It does take us out. So Salamence went down, finally, after rampaging through their entire team. Salamence went down after rampaging through their entire team, which is fantastic. Now, all we need to do is go into Sizzle. And Sizzle should be able to clean up from here. Because they've got an Umbreon and they've got a Ninetales in the back. And a Lola Ninetales at that. So let's go for a Bullet Punch here. They probably go for Extreme Speed just to try and get the damage off. And um, they don't, they must be banded then. If they're not going for an extreme speed there, they, they must be banded. They let the Sizzle go, uh, the Dragonite go down. Sizzle's looking pretty cool right now as well. Umbreon comes in. That's a good switch. Umbreon's a good switch. So let's see how this plays out. So um, it can take a U turn. I know it can take a U turn. Let's go for the U turn anyway. They do withdraw the Umbreon. They baited the U turn and they bring Ninetales in. So they're playing around a bit here. He's, he's trying. He's trying to make a comeback. But with Scizor around, that's going to be hard for them to do. So a U-turn does a nice little chunk of damage to them. And Scizor comes back to us. Now, what's our options for taking out this Ninetales, though? That's the real question. I'm leaning towards the Iron Moth. Should outspeed. Um, I believe we're booster energy and speed. We, uh, we should be booster energy and speed, yeah. So I think we're going to Iron Moth here. So we're going to Moth for our EXE. In a Beast Ball because, you know, we ball in. We get the booster energy. This should be speed. Yeah, it's speed. I thought so. Um, right, now, they can't Terra. We always go for a Fiery Dance here. It's weaker, but it can get us a special attack boost, which would be nice. So, Iron Moth comes through with the Fiery Dance. That takes out the Nine Tails, no problem. I wasn't in doubt that it would take it out. I was just, like, thinking in my mind, do I go for the more powerful move just in case the Umbreon comes in? But then I thought, no, Fiery Dance makes more sense because we get a special attack boost. And we have the Dazzling Gleam. So the Umbreon is going to take a Dazzling Gleam at plus one to the face. So there's the Umbreon coming once again, nice and shiny. And um, we go for the Dazzling Gleam. There's no real reason not to. Uh, Iron Moth basically the backup special attack sweeper behind Superior. So we go for a Dazzling Gleam. And it doesn't two-shot. 
But foul play isn't going to do nearly enough damage, unfortunately. So, um, are they going to sit here and are they going to spam Wish? I don't think so. I think we can win this if we go for a Fiery Dance and get a special attack boost, though, once again. They go for a Protect. That's fine. So, they're going to get some leftover recovery. Wait, were they leftovers? I think they were. We go for the Fiery Dance and it fails, obviously. Uh, let's see if they're leftovers or not. I can't remember what they had. Um, yeah, they are leftovers. That's good to know. So, right. Okay, so that's fine. We go for a Fiery Dance, try and get another special attack boost, and hopefully we get it. There it is, the Fiery Dance comes through. We do not get it, they go for a Wish. Now, if we assume they're going to go for a Protect here, which they probably will do, um, we can go into our Sizzle, and we can get a big U-turn off. Because they must be specially defensive, they've got to be specially defensive. Or we just go Rotom and Trick this thing. I think we go Rotom and Trick. I think that's the way to go, Rotom and Trick. Lock them into a move. That way we can deal with them. Because Umbreon's always hard to deal with because it's just so bulky. They go for the Protect, which is fine. They may go for a Protect here to Scout. Not that it matters because there's nothing that's stopping this trick. There's nothing that's stopping this trick. So they may go for another Wish. They might expect a Volt Switch into the Scizor here. Or they might expect a Willow Wisp or something along those lines. Either way, I'm going for a Trick. They go for a Protect. That's fine. You Protect all you want. This Umbreon's, this Umbreon's trying... It's Umbreon's on its last stand. It's trying its hardest real quick. It's trying its real hardest. So we're going to trick it regardless because this next turn they can't protect. Trick comes through. And I think that's pretty much GG for the Umbreon, right? Because it can't do anything once we've tricked it other than go for a foul play. Foul, uh, they, let's see what they go for. They go for a foul play. They knew they were going to get locked in, so they picked the attacking move. That's fine. Um, now that we know that they're Choice Scarf, they probably outspeed Rotom. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and go for a Hydro Pump anyway, just to see. I want to see if it outspeeds first. It doesn't outspeed still, so we go for a Hydro Pump. Bit of damage. They go for a Foul Play. Bit of damage. We go for another Hydro Pump. We miss. <laughs> this Umbreon this is holding on for dear life right now. Foul Play come through. I'm, I, I don't know why I'm playing so weirdly. I should just go into Superior and spam Leaf Storms. Yeah, we've all switched out, and we're going to Superior, and Superior can spam Leaf Storms in this thing, so... Um, that, that, that is pretty much the game for the Umbreon. Um, but let's, let's, just, let's just end it properly. Let's end it properly. I would go into Sizzle, but Foul Play will take me out. <laughs> so if we get a Free Switch into Sizzle, that'd be great. But they go for a Foul Play. There's no damage, obviously. A bit, bit of damage, to be fair. This Umbreon's kind of holding on for dear life, though. That's, that's for sure. Leaf Storm comes through and misses. Oh, my. This Umbreon's actually making a comeback right now. This Umbreon's actually making a comeback right now. What is going on? What is going on? He's just putting Discord. I believe in Umbreon, though, for real. Like... <laughs> foul Play comes through. This should make a special attacking variant of Foul Play. That'd be pretty cool. And then I'll just go for a Terra Blast to finish off the Umbreon, because why not? A plus two, it's definitely not. That's GG. So GG Blizzard, that Umbreon really, really didn't want to go down. And I really, really, really didn't have a switch into Foul Play that was a physical attacker because Scizor would have gone down. So, anyway, GG. What a game. Salamence didn't win the game, but it definitely set the stage for it. That Umbreon, though, just didn't want to go down. And it's time for the bonus battle. This time against Puff from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Puff. So they're going to lead off with Echo, which is going to be the Rotom, which is cool to see. And we lead off with our own Rotom, uh, Rotom Wash. So it's Rotom Wash. This is Rotom Bulb. I think it's Bulb. It's like a light bulb, isn't it? They go for a trick. They outspeed us. Which means the Choice Scarf, and they're going to trick us another Choice Scarf. Rotom Bulb is about to realize that tricking tri Choice Scarf sometimes isn't so fun. <laughs> I, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, we've all switched. It does a nice little chunk of damage to the Rotom. We know they're probably locked into Trick now. No, because they tricked, so that means they are not locked into Trick anymore. So um, this is all very confusing. So, um, right, so is the Rotom in. We can go into Iron Moth if we want to. Um, Iron Moth could be really useful for later if we get rid of that Heatran. So I might keep it around. Uh, I might go into Ninetales. Could go Salamence. Um, Superior makes the most sense though. So I'm gonna go Superior. And if the Choice Scarf was, if they, if they trick us the Choice Scarf again, then so be it. I'll, I'll just keep going for it. Um, so let's go for a, let's go for a Leaf Storm anyway. And if we take out the Rotom here, then we take out the Rotom and that's amazing. If we draw, they've, they've pretty much got to go into Heatran, right? They've pretty much got to go into Heatran. Forge, that's definitely the Heatran. Yep, that's the Heatran, all right. So Heatran comes in. We go for a Leaf Storm, which is going to do a nice little bit of nothing to it. 
Um, gives us a special attack boost, but we're not Terra Ground, unfortunately, so I can't go for that. So let's, if we assume they're going to go for Avery Stealth Rocks or a Magma Storm here, we should go into Rotom. So I'm going to go into Rotom now. So we'll go into Rotom now. We know we can take a Magma Storm, no problem, and then we can dish out some serious damage with either a Volt Switch or a Hydro Pump. And um, that, that's pretty much the way we're going to go here. So they go for a Magma Storm. They do connect the Magma Storm, which I'm a bit salty about because I never connect my Magma Storms, <laughs> you know? Um, but that's, that's that's whatever. So anyway, anyway, let's see how this plays out. Let's go for a... going to go for the Volt Switch just to get myself out of the Magma Storm. Um, they did stay in, so I could have gone for a Trick or a, a Hydro Pump there, but it is what it is. And uh, now I'm wondering what to go into next. So I'm leaning towards the Salamence. I think I will go Salamence because this day, even if they burn me, I've got the Lumberry, so I'm not really bothered about that. So let's go Salamence now. Get the Intimidate off, not that it matters. And then they go for a Power Gem. And that's going to two-shot my Salamence, which is unfortunate. So now I'm a bit like, okay, the, the, this, this thing's kind of flustered me here. I'm just going to go straight for an EQ. There's no reason not to go straight for an EQ other than the fact that that Rotom can switch in and potentially choice scarf us. They withdraw. Are they going to go into the Rotom or are they going to go with the Appleton? Appleton would also make sense. Azura, that's not the Rotom, that's the Primarina. Comes in to take an Earthquake, that's great for us because it's going to do some nice damage. That's got to be physically defensive of some kind. So if we assume they go for a Moonblaster and Ice Beam here, we should switch out. I'm leaning towards the Sizzle. I am going to go the Sizzle, I think Sizzle is a great switch here. Um, so there we go. I don't think Primarina is going to be randomly Terra Blast Fire with uh, Terra Fire. Um, that's for sure. Hopefully. So Sizzle can come in. They go for a Moon Blast, which is going to bounce right off Sizzle. Because they are, by the looks of it, they're physically defensive. That's what I'm guessing. Um, so I'm, I might go for a knockoff here or a Bullet Punch. If we assume they're probably switching to Rotom or the, the Iron Treads, we should go for a knockoff. I think knockoff is a good play here. We can knock off something's item and it is going to be the Primarina, which is going to take that like a champ. Um, turns out there's Citrus Berry, and they go for a Psychic Noise, which is doing a bit more damage to us than Moonblast did, somehow. But that also stops us from, like, if we had Leftovers, we won't be able to Leftovers. So let's go for a Bullet Punch now and just get some damage off on this Pre-Marina. I don't see any reason not to, as it does get a crit, which is nice. That still didn't take it out, though, as they go for a Moonblast. They must not have Water Stab on this thing. They must not have Water Stab. Um, so we're no longer prevented from healing, which is great, I guess. Uh, knockoff should KO here, so I'm just going to go for it just in case they switch out. They do withdraw, so we do get a nice knockoff off on something. Hopefully the Rotom, that'd be nice. Echo, that's the Rotom, that's great. So we got a nice knockoff off on the Rotom. Uh, Sizzle coming through like an absolute champ, and that's going to take out the Rotom. So with Rotom gone, that's the speedy electric type gone. I don't think the air crit mattered based on the damage we did with the Volt Switch, because Rotom Bulb is extremely frail. In comparison to its other forms, it is anyway. So Techno Union comes in. That's the Iron Treads. And um, we could sit here and go for a Defog predicting a Stealth Rocks. Could go for a Bullet Punch. Could switch out into Rotom. Rotom's not a bad switch. I think we go Rotom here. I think we definitely go Rotom here. Um, if they go for Stealth Rocks, we'll just bring Sizzle back in and try and Defog. We'll just try and do that. So we'll go Rotom now. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our Choice Scarf, which is fine. Uh, they do knock off the Choice Scarf, obviously. Um, kind of good for us. Means we can will o -Wisp this thing. They withdraw, so we get a Will-O-Wisp off on something. Is it going to be Pre-Marina? Are they going to sack that thing off, or is it going to be Appleton? Baker, that's going to be Appleton. The Appleton comes in, nice and nice, nice, nice. We go for a Will-O-Wisp, we get a bit of chip damage off on that thing every single turn. That's going to be great. So with Appleton now burned, we're in a very good position. Since Rotom's no longer too useful for us, I'm going to go for a trick here just to try and claim the item from the Appleton. Because we haven't got an item, so we're not giving it anything. We're just taking its item away. And we get the leftovers, which is great. So they go for a Leech Seed. So are they a Sub Seed set? That's going to be interesting if they are. So the Leech Seed is unfortunately... Uh, well, after leftovers, actually, we might be alright. Well, we'll be alright anyway. Would have been alright anyway. So um, let's see how this plays out. So they go for a Leech Seed. Obviously, it's going to sap our health away this turn. Uh, now I'm going to go for a Volt Switch, I think, and just get on out of there. So we go for a Volt Switch just to get on out of there. If we assume this thing is going to be Leech Seed with, like, Synthesis and stuff, then we should be all right. We should be all right to just go into Scizor here uh, and go for a U-turn. Or Ninetales. I think Ninetales is a good one. Ninetales is a real good one. So we can go into Ninetales now. There we go. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. Get the Snow Warning off, which is fine. 
They go for a leech seed, which is also fine. Also very fine. We'll go for an Aurora Veil. They do switch out probably into Heatran if I had to guess. Uh, as Forge comes in, that's the Heatran, so that's fine. If Heatran in, we get the Aurora Veil up, which is great. Um, I think they did they did Leech Seed us, so um, they obviously predicted the switch. As there's the Leech Seed come through. Uh, recovering that Heatran's health a little bit. We don't want to stay in here, obviously, because Ninetales does not match up very well against us there. Heatran. Um, so we're going to have to switch out. And I'm, I'm going to sack off. I'm going to sack off our Rotom. Um, and the reason being is because I'm looking at their team right now and Salamence does so well against their team. So let's go into Bosch real quick. They go for a power gem, that's fine. They might have expected the Salamence to come in. Or it might just be their only other attacking move outside of Magma Storm, which makes more sense. Um, so now I'm pretty confident that Salamence can come in and do stuff here. So I'm going to go into Salamence. Now they already... They haven't Terrored yet. That's the thing that I'm worried about. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake here. I don't think they'll Terra here. If they do, I'm pretty confident we live a Power Gem through the Aurora Veil. So they do withdraw. And they go into Baker, which is the uh, Appleton once again. We go for an EQ. That's going to do a nice little bit of chip damage to them. Like a little bit of chip damage. And then they're going to get hit by the burn, which is even better. So now I'm looking at this matchup and I'm thinking... Let's just go for a dual wing beat. I don't really see any reason not to go for a dual wing beat here. I'm pretty sure it comp I'm pretty sure it takes it out, right? Oh, it doesn't take it out. It the burn takes it out. Oh wait, no, it does take it out. It was just a high a low roll and a high roll. Fair enough. We'll take those. Salamence coming through, and I wish I was Moxie right now. Jawsome comes in. That's gonna be the dreadnought, right? This thing's gonna want a shell smash, so I'm gonna happen. Mm. Do I earthquake? Because they've brought it in after seeing an earthquake. They know we have the Scizor in the back. Would they Shell Smash without terroring here? Let's go for an Iron Head, just in case. They do Terror. What type are they going to Terror into? Is it something that's going to resist ground? Maybe Grass? As long as we can get some decent damage off with the Iron Head, we're fine. Terror Dark. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So Iron Head's still not a bad option for us. I kind of expected Grass, but like Terror Dark, fine. Um... They flinched. We flinched them again with the Salamence. Now, I think Jewel Wingbeat's our best option, so I'm going to go for Jewel Wingbeat. Um, we do hit it, which is nice, and that does a nice little bit of damage to them. No crits. Hit two times. They go for a Shell Smash, and luckily we do have Scizor still around, so we can go for a Bullet Punch here. So, um, defenses are going to drop. Offenses are going to rise. You know how it goes with the Shell Smash vibe. <laughs> that was bad. That was so bad. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, we basically let Salamence go down here, right? No, we don't. We let something else go down. We let something else go down. Uh, I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking Ninetales ain't doing squat for us anymore. So let's sack off Ninetales. So we'll go into our Ninetales. We'll go into our Ninetales real quick. Vim token come through. We might live because they probably go for a crunch with Terra Dark, Strong Jaw. Probably. Yeah, they go for a crunch. So we will live this, but the next attack after that, we won't live. So knock... Oh, actually, no, we might. We might. Let's go for a freeze dry just in case. Liquidation? No, we ain't living that. <gasps> we lived! We lived! Ninetales is just too bulky with that Aurora Veil up and the snow boosting our defenses. That Dreadnought had no chance. Had not a single chance. So Dreadnought goes down, which is fantastic. Azura comes in. That is the um, Primarina. That's an interesting one because they've probably got Aqua Jet, right? So let's go for an Aurora Veil just in case they don't. They do have Aqua Jet, which is going to take out Ninetales. So that's unfortunate we don't get the Aurora Veil up. But at the end of the day, it's night. This isn't the end of the world because we can just go Salamence and go for an EQ here. There's no reason not to. They've already Terrored. We've already Terrored. So let's go into Salamence. Let's go into Salamence. Get the Intimidate off so that Aqua Jet's not going to do anything. They can't switch out. They have to let the Primarina go down here so we claim another soul. They go for the Aqua Jet. No damage, obviously. It's about the 1 HP, I think. Uh, Earthquake comes through. That's going to definitely take out the Primarina from there. So Salamence coming through once again. What a go. And now I think they have to go into the Iron Treads, right? 
Techno Union in the form of Titan comes in. That's the Iron Treads. So the fact that they brought this in tells me they might have Ice Spinner. I don't want to mess around with them, so I'm going to sack off Scizor here and Scout. Because I can just bring in something to take this thing out. Iron Treads and Heatran can go down. Heatran, though, we need Salamence for because of the Earthquake. So they go for a rapid spin. That's bad because it means they're going to get a nice speed boost. The snow is going to stop as well, which doesn't really matter. Um, we go for a Bullet Punch here all the time just to get some chip damage off and break a potential Sash. But I don't think they'll have Sash. Um, so Bullet Punch comes through. I don't know whether they saw... Uh, I can't remember whether we saw Booster Energy earlier or not. They go for a knockoff though. Right, so the fact that they haven't got Stealth Rocks, they haven't gone for a Stealth Rocks. The fact that they've got Knockoff and probably Earthquake, they either have Iron Head for Stab or they have Ice Spinner. Right, so... If that's the case, I say we go Iron Moth first. And we have to, we have to play this correctly. So, we're going to get a Booster Energy and Speed here. Which means we do outspeed the Iron Treads. Which means they should, in theory, go into their Heatran here. I think they always go Heatran here, so we have to make the Salamence play. We have to make the Salamence play. If we play this wrong, then we lose. So we withdraw the Iron Moth. We go into Boomander. Get the Intimidate off, which is great. They go for a rapid spin again. Oh, oh, I see how it is. So they fully was like, I'm going to take that. They really wanted to take that. But we need Salamence around. That's the problem. That is the real problem. Let's go. All right. Well, let's go back into Superior. Let's go back into the Superior because we don't know what this thing's going to do. If it's going to knock off or whatever. And all we know is it's got minus special. It's got minus attack. They go for a knockoff here, which is going to do no damage. Techno Union goes. Uh, right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 This isn't. This is all right. This isn't the end of the world. That's for sure. Because if we go for a Leaf Storm here, they go for an Iron Head. Are they going to flinch us? We Leaf Storm. That's great. So we get the Leaf Storm off, which isn't doing much damage this turn. But the next turn, if we hit this Leaf Storm, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Do I need to Terrify here? If we Terrify, we have a better chance against the Heatran. Let's go for the Terrify of Terror Blast here. Because if they go Heatran here, what we need to do is sack off Iron Moth. That's all we need to do. Sack off Iron Moth. And then go into Salamence. EQ. And if they switch into Iron Treads, it goes down. If they don't, they don't. So that's all we needed to do there. So we Terrify here. Terror Blast. They go for an Iron Head. They didn't expect the Terror. That's fine. If they flinch here, that's going to be bad. We go for a Terror Blast though. We didn't get flinched, which is nice. Terror Blast comes through. And that takes out the uh, Iron Treads, which is great. Now, however, they can go into Heatran and take us out with a Power Gem. But I'm pretty confident we won this game because Salamence, I don't think the Heatran will have any way to boost its speed. If it's randomly Trailblaze Heatran, I'm going to be very shocked. That's for sure. But uh, Dragon Pulse is our best move here because they have if, if they have Flash Fire, obviously Terra Blast isn't going to work. Um, so Dragon Pulse comes through. Does no damage, obviously, at plus two. They go for a Power Gem. That's going to take us out, hopefully. It does, which is great. So we've got a little bit of chip damage off. But now we can go into Salamence and we can EQ. Which is what we want. We want we wanted this situation for Salamence. So let's go into Salamence now. Go into good old Boomander, the Salamence. Get the Intimidate off, not that it matters. No Stealth Rocks, right? Yeah, no Stealth Rocks, I thought so. Uh, we just go for an Earthquake and we win the game, right? Earthquake comes through, that is going to be the game. So GG Puff, that was a really fun game. Really came right down to the wire. Came down to the timing nearly as well. I love it when that happens. GG. We always have the best battles, me and Puff. What a game. That flinch on Dreadnought came in clutch, that's for sure. But anyway, that's your lot. Feel free to use the team using the code on screen. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.